What's up beauties? A couple months ago, I did a video called my top five drugstore must-haves and you guys went crazy for that video. And ever since I posted it, everybody's been asking me to do a part two. So today I'm doing top five drugstore must-haves and this is gonna be a complexion only edition because there is so much good stuff at the drugstore. I could really break this down place by place. So that's what we're doing today. So the first one that I have for you is, I did actually a foundation on my last one and I stand beside uh, that one as well, it's still very good, but my newest obsession from the drugstore is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear. And I really like this one because um, my skin is so dry in the winter and I really find that this one it lays down on my skin a lot more, it just gives it more moisture where the other one is a bit more matte. Um, you can still use a translucent powder on this to mattify it if that's what you like, but honestly this one really wears beautifully and applies beautifully and there's a pretty decent shade range as well. So I'm wearing number 425 which is linen and this one's a little bit dark for me but it's the right undertone so I just sort of make it work. Um, but there is a pretty decent color range so you'll be able to probably find something for yourself. The only thing that the drugstore doesn't have that Sephora has is like you can't test these colors before you buy them whereas at a nicer place like Sephora you can. Okay, number two is this one, which is the, who makes this? This is the Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And this one is super beautiful and not drying and not too thick or cakey. I would honestly recommend this for any age, which is probably why it's called Age Rewind because it's very, very light on the skin, even though it does have complete full coverage, a buildable full coverage, but I'm wearing shade Ivory. And I would say that it's not as heavy duty coverage as like one of my Sephora favorites, but it's actually what I like about it. It really does lay down in a more natural way, but does give you um, dark circle coverage and anywhere else you need. The next one I have is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. And I'm wearing color Maru Maru. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. Maru Maru Butter Bronzer. And it comes with a little mirror and brush. I haven't even used the brush as you guys can see. It's kind of a sponge and I can't get it out. <laughs> Not that I'm ever gonna use it, but um, it's really nice. It's matte, but it does have just the tiniest hint of something pearlescent so it's not completely matte and it's not drying at all which is something I like about it too. I mean you're probably seeing a trend here like a lot of my favorites right now in the winter are a little more moisturizing and not so matte and that is because like um, I guess I'm like most people and in the winter my skin is suffering a little bit from dryness but all these products I've recommended so far are very good for that problem specifically because they do add moisture to your skin or at least don't take the moisture away from your skin. The next one I have is the Milani Powder Blush, and besides the fact that this is a really pretty color, um, it's just the prettiest blush ever. <laughs> I would buy it just because it looks like that. This is in the color Coral Cove, and this one can look a little bit intimidating in the pan, but as you can see on my face, it's super, super sheer going on and buildable, which is so nice because you can put on a little or you can put on a lot and um, you can really choose your level of a blush color, basically. And then the last one I have for you guys today is the Hard Candy Just Glow Baked Highlighting Trio in Meet Me in Tahiti. Um, for any of you who are not into the current highlighting trend, which is like super blinding and and super obvious highlighting, you'll love this. Uh, you can amp this up a little bit if you spray your face with setting spray first before you put this on, or if you're really just not into that kind of look, you can just use this dry with a brush and it gives you this glow that I have now, um, which I find to be very natural and I'm using the brightest one today. It's also coming in these two darker colors. So if you are darker skinned or if you are a little bit tanned and you like a nice glow, you can use that all over. Like you don't have to just put it on your high points like a traditional highlighter. You could actually take the darker color and sort of swoosh it over your bronzer. You could use it as eyeshadow and it would be really nice and give you a nice healthy lit from within type of glow as opposed to a really blinding highlighter glow. 
So that's it you guys, that's my top 5 drugstore must haves for skin and if you guys end up trying any of these and you like them let me know. If, they, if you don't like them let me know too, I would love to hear that feedback as well, not everybody's going to like the same stuff I do. Um, I've decided to make this type of video a monthly thing on my channel because you guys really do seem to love them. So um, I'll make another one next month and if you have a suggestion for what I should focus on, whether it be eyebrows or um, whether you want to see something on drugstore lipsticks or whatever, let me know in a comment comment down below and that will give me somewhere to start for next month. Alright guys, thanks for coming back and I'll see you on the next one.